I spend a lot of time dreaming about all the outdoor adventures I want to go on. And combining a bike ride with a mountain climb has been an idea that Rob and I have talked about for over five years. It was the catalyst for me buying a mountain bike in the first place. But somehow, for a variety of reasons, it's taken a really long time for us to actually combine these two disciplines. I'm gonna be fitting this trip into a weekend. And Rob, well, he started from Portland a few days ago and I'm just meeting him in Trout Lake. In the Southwest Cascades of Washington sits the second highest mountain in the state, Mount Adams. And there's several routes which lead to the top of the mountain. We'll be taking the easiest route, the South Spur. So we're about four or five miles up the hill. We're getting off the tarmac. We're gonna hit some uh, gravel. And I think it's pretty gradual till the last three miles. Even though the ride was all climbing, it was only about 14 miles and it was the perfect temperature. A great way to get our legs warmed up for the hiking that we'd be doing shortly. Now, I don't have to have this backpack on my back. All I got is Chris Wilson on my back all the time. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Hurry up, Parker. Hurry up. Slow down, speed up, ride past the camera, ride back from the camera. Oh. Do this, do that. Oh God, my life is so difficult. Gravel roads lead all the way up to the Cold Springs Trailhead. That's where we'll start the climb. How we doing, Parker? Doing good. Yeah. We, uh, we got about a mile and a quarter to go with about five to 600 feet. This this section, the last three miles up this hill, I was like, I, I just remember being so steep in you the car. You were scared. I was scared, bro. <laughs> it's fine, we're doing great. Yeah. We're right on schedule. Uh, we're gonna get up there and my wife is already up there. We're gonna meet her there. We are not taking support from her. Rob. Just Rob. Emotional support. <laughs> And then she's gonna climb with us, but we gotta still unpack, repack. We're gonna load the bikes in the together. car so we don't have to worry about locking it. Yes, that's somewhere. the other thing that is critical. We that's could put super the helpful. we could put the bikes in the car. Anyway, we're doing great. It is a fabulous day. It's oh. about 55 degrees, sunny, no wind. So it, happy to be out here. It's so good. All right. Okay. So there's so many people that come up here and just like the poop doesn't degrade. So you have to pack out your poop. That's cool that they have the bags here. It's lame that someone actually put a used shit bag in there. This is a non-technical climb, <laughs> meaning you don't need any technical mountaineering skills. There's no crevasses, no need for rope, pickets, harnesses, that kind of stuff. So, I'd still recommend carrying a proper set of crampons and an ice axe. I even brought proper mountaineering boots. Having said that, we saw people in trail runners and micro spikes. Just because it's possible doesn't mean you should. Use your judgment, know your own skill set. How's it? It feels like an old friend that I never really liked, <laughs> but I hung around with a lot. <laughs> like Wilson. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Never gonna set the FKT like this. <laughs> so, it was a lot of gear to schlep around. It took a while to unpack, repack, disassemble the bikes, stash them away in the car. But with our packs finally loaded, we'd start heading up the dusty and rocky trail leading to Lunch Counter. Lunch Counter is the name of the popular base camp if you're doing this route in two days. So, that's what we were aiming for. Oof. All right. 
Nice work. Woo. Up fives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was a hard day. All right, we're cool. at lunch counter. And we've got a huge shelter for us, like a huge windbreak. Yeah. And we did 7,600 feet of vert today. Oof. Oof. That's too much. Good job, too boys. Much. <laughs> too much vert. Yeah, okay. we're stoked. we got a great place. There's water right there. We're going to post up here for the night, and we will get up early and head up the mountain. The lunch counter. You'll find huge windbreaks like this everywhere. We're happy to see. It wasn't as crowded as we thought. With lots of time to chill at camp, we enjoyed a beautiful sunset. We conked early. It's about five o'clock. We're getting started in the dark. And you feel like you're in your own little world, not seeing past the bubble created through the glow of your headlamp. You're looking at what's directly four feet in front of you, slowly, rhythmically, one step at a time, we move upwards. Soon, the horizon begins to radiate pink and orange, and an incredible landscape is revealed. You start to feel the warmth from the sun, and the snow beneath you is glowing. With each step, it reminds me of why I love this. Sometimes, I think to enjoy these trips, I have to keep upping the ante. Harder, faster, longer. But this mountain, it's not difficult to climb. It's not extreme. It's really straightforward. I'm loving see, it. Now I can't even see what's happening. Parker, what's up, bro? We are on Piker's Peak. Yeah. So if you're a quitter, piker, this is where you stay. We are not pikers. We are uh, going to the summit. I was just going to say, it sounds like <laughs> I, I reached my summit, Parker. Yeah, no, no, no. You're killing it today. Oh my God, can't keep up with Wilson today. He's on fire. Yes, yeah, so we can see the summit behind us right there. You can see the switchbacks. Looks like we're going to be ditching the crampons for a lot of it, but we'll see. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel great. Good. Cool, man. Yeah. Woo. Work, dude. Yeah. Not bad. Four Great days. conditions, man. Great conditions. Four days to get here. Whew. Next one we'll have to ride during the year. Uh-oh. That's a big one. That's a big boy. As we begin our descent mid-morning, the sun is already feeling hot, reflecting off the snow. This is why we left at 5 a.m. All right, Parker, we're oh. almost back to camp. We're almost back to camp. That was a beautiful morning. Great climb. Right. I am glad we are going down right now and not oh. up like a lot of people still are. It's hot out. It's probably like 68 degrees and feels like it's 168 <laughs> yeah. degrees. Anyway, we're almost back to camp. Woo!
We take our time retracing our steps back to the car, where once more, there'll be a gear explosion and an hour of unpacking and repacking. Adams got back to the trailhead. We're all repacked. What's happening now? Uh, we're gonna ride back down to Trout Lake, meet my wife, and have a beer. Chris is gonna go back to Portland, and I'm gonna ride my bicycle. I'm gonna stay the night in Trout Lake and then ride my bicycle back to Portland to make it to, to close the loop. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, cool. Well, and this should be a fun descent for us because it's gonna be pretty much all downhill. 14 miles of downhill. <laughs> Except for, about that. except for the washboard. Ooh. Yeah. We got this. Well, I got front suspension. I ain't worried. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be me. Hey. The descent was fast and fun. It was one of those descents that reminds you why you love riding a bike. Probably more fun for me than Rob. That front suspension really takes the edge off on those washboards. Parker, your bumpy days are over. <laughs> At least for today. Tarmac <laughs> to the beer. Yes. I like that. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a fun descent. A little bit of washboard, but whatever. Take the good, take the bad. Yeah, so I've always been curious. How much suspension do I actually use when I go on a washboard road like that? So I reset my indicator. Let's take a look. Look at that. That's how much travel I used. What? That's how much travel I used. How much travel did you use, Rob? <laughs> Let's check my indicator. Oh! <laughs> so much Wait. more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it fell uh, out. It fell out. The filling, that was my indicator. My filling fell out. Jeez Louise. That was fun, dude. Ooh, fun to say. You did it. Yeah, sadly, this marks the end of my journey. Parker still has more to go. <laughs> See how much of that I can film. I still got a ride from uh, Trout Lake, Washington back to Portland, which I think is about 90 miles tomorrow. This was really fun. It was great. And it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much more difficult. Yeah. I'll give you a call tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. Good All work, right. dude. Let's get a beer. All right. Another Ooh. successful beatdown. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Last weekend was hard. This was fun. Oh, yeah. I'm going to Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Damn. You got to work. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What are we doing the weekend after that, though? <laughs> Cal's running 50 miles. Okay. But what are we doing the weekend after that? <laughs> Going to Utah! Woo oh, dude, that's going to be a fun trip. Not that ice axe right there, huh?
falls in the gorge. Sweet.